Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more RPG goodness. This time we have Pathfinder role-playing game for Savage Worlds Archetyped Cards Set 1. This is brought to you by Pinnacle Entertainment Group and Paizo Role-playing Game Systems. Of course, this was released in 2001 by Paizo Incorporated. So, let's take a look at this real quick. Again, it's brand new, so I'm going to crack this deck open. I picked this up. It was on deep sale. Uh, I think it was 80% off at Miniature Market. So I said this is a little helpful. I do play Savage Worlds, and I play Pathfinder. So if I need cards for the combination of the two game systems, I now have a handy-dandy cards that will help me create my different cards. So we have our archetype, archetype card set. So let's see what it says in the back here. These archetype cards contain iconic characters for Pathfinder for Savage Worlds. In this pack, you'll find two copies of each of 11 characters, one of each of the character classes from the Pathfinder for Savage Worlds core rules, plus a single card for Drugami, Linny, the Druid's animal companion. Each character is represented at novice and seasoned rank, making it easier for players to jump right into a game either as a starting character or after the character has gained a few adventures in Galarian. These characters are perfect for convention or pickup games and one-shot adventures where the GM wants to get right into the action. Just give each player an archetype card. Don't forget to give Linny's player the Drugami card as well, and the players are ready to play. Look out for archetype set 2 with 12 new characters archetypes available from your local game store or directly from Pinnacle at www.peginc.com. So again, these are character cards that are easy to... Uh, you hand out, you're starting a new game, you want to jump right in. Rather than creating their own characters, you have cards directly for them. So all the cards are going to be set up identically the same. So we'll start with this card right here, so we'll take a look at it. We have your rank, which is a novice. Of course, it tells you the character's name. So it's Amiri, who's a barbarian. Fiery heart and fierce in battle, Amiri demands respect. Those who offend the barbarian soon learn the wrath of her blood rage. She wields an oversized bastard sword, her most prized possession. One from a frost giant years ago. Her attributes, agility is a D8, smarts is a D4, spirit is a D6, strength is a D10, vigor is a D8. She can move 8, parry is 6, toughness is 8. Skills right here, or what, what dice you're going to be using. Languages she knows is common, goblin, and halfling. On the back, we have her ancestry, we have her hindrances. Uh, hindrances. Uh, so she's bloodthirsty, she has death wish, she's poverty. Uh, again, Ancestry, she's human. Edges, Barbarian, she's a brute. Class features, Armor, Restriction, Rage. While raging, you can do the following abilities, Fury, and Rage, Reckless Abandon, and the different gear that she has, which is a Bastard Sword, a Short Bow. Then, of course, it tells you what you're going to do for damage when using it. She has 20 arrows, a Hand Axe, Stud Leather, Tunic, and Leggings, and Adventure Kit with 9 gold pieces. So, again, this is what we consider a novice or a brand new. So in the game as well, they also have, remember, there's two identical sets of cards in here. So let me just pull her out so I can show you that. Okay. So again, we have her season card as well. So you're going to see that the season card and the novice card, though the picture may be the same and the, the, the beginning part might be the same, the attributes might be a little bit different. So we have the D, D8, D4, D6, D10, D10. So Vigor goes up from... 8 to 10. The pace remains, the parry goes up from 6 to 7. Toughness goes up from 8 to 10. So you see that. And the vigor goes up uh, goes up on this card from 8 to D8 to a D10. Skill stats, again, most of them will remain the same. Yep. Uh, the survival skills go from a D4 to a D6. Again, this is your season card and this is your novice card. And again, the, the languages would all be the same. Now, again, human, bloodthirsty, death wish, poverty, barbarian, brute. She has some more edges now. A powerful blow because she's more seasoned in fighting. Sweep, trademark weapon now she has. Armor restriction, rage, uh, fury and rage, reckless abandon. Same here in the gear. Looks like it's exactly the same once again. Nope, this is a little, it's a little different here. So it gets plus three ages. It says Adventures Kit 9. So that's a little bit different there. 
the range is the same, the best storage remains the same. So again, in this deck, you're going to get two of each character. So if you're doing a real base game to just kind of show a Pathfinder or someone, or you're moving into the Savage Worlds rather than waiting around, say, hey guys, everybody gets a card, pick your character, put the characters on a table, everybody grabs one, boom, you start rolling an adventure. Again, if you have people who have experience playing role-playing games, uh, you drop a season character on them. This way they have something with a little bit more bite to it. So those are your two season characters. Again, I'm going to put this in the middle here. So this is your seasoned and this is your novice. So then you have a seasoned. You have Lem, who's a bard. All the cards are set up the same way, so I'm not going to read through everything, but you get the general gist. So you have this character here, which is Lem, who's a bard, rank seasoned. And then you have Lem card, which is a novice. So there you go. Novice and seasoned. Again, then you have Kyra, the cleric. The attributes, again, are a little different. Again, the more seasoned they are, the better they become at their skill sets. And they gain more edges and sometimes... Um, their, their class features will stay the same. The gear pretty much stays the same and the power points remain the same. So again, season card, novice card. Then you have Valeros. He's a fighter. Again, you have the novice card and you have the season. You got the picture on the side, all their attributes, their skills, the languages they speak. And then the back side, you have your background history, which is your ancestry, your hindrances, your edges, your class features, your gear. Uh, their edges go up. The more experience you have, the more talent you take on. So again, you have your season card and your novice card. Then you also have our friend Merchelle, the rogue. Got a great artwork there. Then again, it gives your attributes, your skills, a little background information about her. Then be ancestry, hindrances, edges, and class features. Again, the season character. Everything gets advanced a little bit more because they have more oomph to them. I have a little more skills put them because they've got more experience. And the edges are usually the part that becomes more, to get more traits because they've been in combat more and they've seen more things. Again, getting back to this one, we have Urzen, the wizard. Again, attribute skills and the cards are all set up identically as we said. Again, this side you have a novice, and then you have your seasoned. And again, here we go. We have a Linny, the Druid. Again, attribute skills, and then back cards. Again, in the edges, that's what you get a bump in when you go from novice to seasoned. There's your card. And then you have here, you have Harsk, the Ranger like a dwarf character. Yep, it's dwarven. Switch over. Again, the edges. Again, more. You have five on this side. You have two on that side. You have the class features which pretty much remain the same. Henderson's remain the same and the ancestry is the same. Again, novice and seasoned. And then we have Sion the Sorcerer. You have Sajan, the monk. And you have Sila, the paladin. So it's a nice mix of characters that you have here again. For your, if you're a novice, I mean, you're maybe your first adventure or second adventure. And then one season is someone who has a little bit more playing experience, knows the character a little bit more, and can take on a little bit of a higher level uh, module or campaign that you're starting to jump into. Again, these are pre-made characters, so it's great to have these for, again, for people who are, you know, throwing, starting a quick game and you want to get it done. You have the cards already set. You just jump into the campaign. All you need is some dice and you're ready to roll. And then we have Dragoonie, who is the companion. Again, this is a ranked novice. Dragami is Lini's faithful animal wild card companion. If a player is playing Lini, that player also takes this card for her snow leopard friend. Got your attributes again up top, your skill sets here. 
again, used for Pathfinder and the Savage Worlds system. And we flip over to here, special abilities, bite claw, strength plus D6. So you have your strength, which is D8, D8 plus a D6. So you roll two dice, that tells you what it is. Low light vision, Drugami ignores penalties for dim and dark illumination. Pounce, Drugami pounces on prey to best bring its mass and claws to bear. If it makes a wild attack, Drugami adds plus four to its damage instead of plus two. Edges Frenzy. Drugami rolls a second fighting die with any one of its standard fighting attacks for the turn. The extra die may be allocated to the same or different targets. So that is a companion. And that is everything that's included. And that concludes our unboxing of Pathfinder role-playing game for Savage Worlds Archetype Card Set 1. Brought to you by Pinnacle and Pazio. It was released in 2021, and through a basic retail value was $9.99. As always, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video, which is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed the video, you could always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. You could also hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day. We'll catch you on the next unboxing video.